to take, make cuttings actually from this one leaf here, and I'm choosing a leaf where the tip has been broken since it's not going to grow anymore anyway. And what you want to do is cut a leaf at the very base, as close to the base of the pot as you can, and then kind of lay it out here and you want to make three to four inch sections out of the leaf that you cut. So I'll make a few of them here right now. This looks good. And then you take your sections and put them right into a pot of potting soil. And I'm using a clay pot today. I prefer to use a clay pot with plants that like to stay on the dry side because the clay pot itself dries out a lot faster. So you can use plastic if you want, that's fine. But I personally prefer the clay. So just stick those little sections in about a half an inch and they'll all be sitting out. It looks kind of funny, but this is actually how they get started. And then, when you're all done, you can water it. Although there is one other thing I should tell you. If you're using the variety of, of snake plant that I'm using today, which is the Sansevieria laurenti, when the new snakes appear, they'll actually be all green. They won't have this yellow border. I don't know why they do that. I'm sure there's a logical botanical reason for it, but that's what they do. There's good news and bad news about the snake plant. The good news is that the cuttings are actually producing new leaves. The bad news is that it's been a very slow process. And here they are. As you can see, as I predicted, it does have some new leaves and they are all green. There's just a few of them here really coming up. It's been very, very slow, but it is happening. And I also mentioned that there must be some logical botanical reason why the cuttings, which have a yellow edge to them, if you recall, produce leaves that ha are all green. Well, I discovered what that is. It's actually that this plant right here, the Sansevieria laurenti, is actually a hybrid of this, the Sansevieria trifasciata. In fact, its full name, which you don't see very often, is Sansevieria trifasciata laurenti. So now you probably know why you don't see its full name very often. So what is actually happening here is that it's returning to its original state. And I wanted to remind you that the snake plant is a wonderful plant to grow. They're about the most hardy plant that you can buy. They'll take full sun and you can grow them almost in a closet, but I wouldn't recommend that. And make sure you let them dry out thoroughly before you water them. Also, if you want to try rooting your own cuttings, I suspect that we may have a little bit better luck as you can see, this is rooted in a mulchy kind of soil. Now they may actually root faster in some perlite or vermiculite, which you can get at your garden center. They're, both perlite and vermiculite are a wonderful rooting medium and that should really, I suspect, get your plants rooting a little bit faster. <laughs>